Well, a Minnesota oil pipeline project is getting ready to take a critical step. The State Public Utilities Commission will put together an environmental impact statement for two different Enbridge Energy projects, including the 600-mile Sandpiper pipeline route. And this week, they're looking for public comments. Jackson Bruner has more. Park Rapids citizens had some heated thoughts. Think about all the lakes that you saw on the way into town, if you're not a local. Think about all the little rivers and streams. There's no guarantee that this will be the same thing in another 20 years. A Tuesday morning scope meeting brought Enbridge Energy, government officials, and the public together to figure out what should go into an environmental impact statement, which would determine if Enbridge's proposed Sandpiper route would be best for moving crude oil from North Dakota to Wisconsin and passing through Minnesota on the way. And keeping the water and land they love in mind, several people voiced concerns over the possibility of oil leaks. The potential effects of such a spill on the image in the minds of potential users of the recreational land through which the chosen route passes is germane to the proposed study and must be addressed, including all of the original system alternatives with regard to that impact. Pipeline spills occurred despite Enbridge's public relations campaign saying that spills are minimal and can be easily mitigated. This didn't happen in 2010 near Kalamazoo, Michigan, Michigan when a huge volume of tar sands oil gushed forth over 17 hours. Inbridge, however, says they take care of their pipes. We do aerial patrols of our pipelines every, every couple of weeks. We do foot patrols annually. We do inline inspections all the time, and we've got a, 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 a control center that monitors the pipelines 24-7. Others who stepped up were in support of the Sandpiper route. If it wasn't for some risk, we wouldn't have anything done in this country. Had a lot of risks taken over the years. I think that we've got to clean up this planet to do things for our kids and grandkids or we're not going to have a planet. But I think we have to make intelligent choices at the same time on what's good for all of us. Would we rather have a pipeline or would we rather not have any natural gas to heat our homes? or fuel to do our cars. Finishing an environmental impact statement will be a long process. Officials say the comments of Minnesotans will all go on record, and they expect a draft to be available for public review early next year. In Park Rapids, Jackson Bruner, Lakeland News. As part of this project, Enbridge plans to replace its aging Line 3 pipeline, which runs from Alberta, Canada, and through Clearbrook, Minnesota, before reaching Superior. The old underwater pipes would be deactivated and cleaned by Enbridge workers. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.